Knights of England's magnificent 90,000 seat national stadium, a specially designed parallel track has been built to allow drivers to race head to head in a series of shootouts. The track is only one kilometre long, but the best thing about it is it's equal. You race side by side at the same time over four laps in identical machinery. Best man's going to win. We've got five different cars to race throughout the day, and the array of motorsport legends has attracted plenty of other famous faces. Today there are two separate competitions. The race of champions is the main event to decide the best individual driver. But first there's the Nations Cup, a team competition where the drivers represent their country. And there's one nation whose ruthless efficiency always makes them a joy to beat. What's they all like now? Is it better? They put some dust on oh, it, but it's still slippery. See, now that's Schumacher, and um, I reckon he's had a bit of L'Oreal face tan on. He's looking a bit orange. I'm representing Team GB, along with my mate DC, David Coulthard. We're going for a presentation around the track to meet the crowd. Is that right, DC? Yes. Sorry, I'm just an awestruck to be adjacent to the presence. There are five teams competing for the title, but none of us yet know who will be racing against or in what cars. In the I-150. Brilliant. So I've just found, just found out my first uh, my first race today is against the All-Stars team. I'm going to be in an R-150. Jason Plato against Troy Bayless. Who would you put your money on here? This is going to be tight. What has Troy Bayless got? He's spun it in the middle of the infield. I earned my first win for the team. And so does DC. So that's, uh, I think that's me and DC through to the next stage. <laughs> I tell you it's what, an emotional moment. Hey, there's a bit of pressure on it. It's pretty interesting. Can we, just, can it? Can we call it now yeah. and just say, that's it, we've achieved everything we wanted to do in the sport. <laughs> yeah, well <done. laughs> Cheers, thanks. Unfortunately, our high spirits don't last long. Watch the gap, it looks big. It looks very big indeed. And Plato's going to have to work hard here. I lose to German F1 hotshot Sebastian Vettel. Bugger, we lost that one. And DC bins it. Oh, we oh, see that Kilsard's in the wall. And he's done a bit of damage. Team GB have crashed out in the quarterfinals. Oh, he's lost it. He gets it back. I think he's broken a steering arm. But worse is yet to come. Wouldn't you just know it? Germany winning at Wembley. Sorry, everybody. High time for our own bit of flag waving. Lewis Hamilton gets the crowd back on their feet with some arty hooliganism. But it's back to business for me, and it's time for the big one, the race of champions. I'm thinking I need a bit of a wee. I'm starting to get a bit tense and a bit edgy now. I'm up against fellow Brit, touring car star Andy Prio. Now, who's got the grip? Who's got the momentum? Surely it's going to be the inside line. It's going to be the Gertzyman. And world touring cars beats British touring cars as Plato hits the wall. But it doesn't go well. That's me for an early bath. I gave it the best what I could, and uh, it wasn't good enough. At least DC's still in it. I just hope he gets further than Shuey. Um, are you out soon? I think so, yeah. What yeah. are you in? Uh, I think it's in the expo. So they're very nervous because I crashed one of those earlier. Yeah. But with David gearing up for a potential battle with his old rival Schumacher, there's sensation out in the track. Schumacher's out! Schumacher is losing out! Sadly, Michael gets dumped out in the second round by American Carl Edwards who DC goes on to beat to make it all the way to the final, where he'll meet two times race of champions winner Sebastian Loeb. Michael doesn't seem best pleased to be stuck in the driver's lounge just watching on the telly. The final is the best of three races in different cars. DC goes one race down, but manages to claw the next one back. And listen to what Webley thinks of that! It all goes down to one last race. This is it. All out. We know he's going to be the winner. Come on, DC. And we are gone. And we've got a Scotsman in the running. He's gone wide on that first corner. And he's had a bad, a bad opening that. Griffin is about a two-car length advantage. Let's see as they come around to start and finish line. Almost neck and neck. Half a car length advantage. Sebastian Lowe coming up to go to the hill. 
Lampard driving out of his skin. Come on, you stinker! Just over half a lap to go. Oh, I don't know who it's going to be. I just simply do not. I think it's half a nose cone. Sebastiano is close. It's really close. Kufan slid wide. Kufan accelerating down to the final corner. To the final corner. Oh, my golly. So, so close. Sebastiano. Third wins. Really close. Fantastic race. Good, good. I really appreciate the uh, encouragement. <laughs> I thought I can't let them down. Congratulations to Sebastian Loeb, but I'm dead proud of the old mate DC. But then you start the engine and you drive off and have to listen to that gearbox, and by Jove, that's not cool. My goodness. That was 